Okay, YouTube world. Uh, I'm making a video about the 5th Gen Ram Phoenix Radio. As you can see, it's raining and snowing. I don't know what it wants to do in May, but here in Denver. But it pleases me to be the first to make a video about the 5th Gen Phoenix Radio PX6. It is not a good radio. Okay. So as far as plug and playing, it plugs and play perfectly. And as you see, it fits in the dash perfectly. But as you see, as I turn it on, put in an ACC, it's going to take about 30 seconds for it to start loading up. And there's that. And you'll see it'll take a while. So the boot time is very slow. And it's been sitting for about a week, so still shouldn't take that long. As you see, we're still waiting and still waiting and still waiting. But you lose a lot of options. Like it won't talk to the won't talk to the dashboard. I've tried everything programming it. I can't get the steering wheel controls to work. You have to buy a special harness for here we go. Finally popped up. You have to buy a special harness for the backup camera. And then the RAM, it's got the wrong RAM in there. It's got a classic, which these don't fit the classic. So there you go. Still loading, still loading, still loading. Still loading. And this is what it does. Saying it has to wake and everything else. You know, I programmed it, did what I can do. So there's the map. So looks pretty good. But if you start driving and you get about 45, the map loads so it can't keep up with you. See, like right now, I'm sitting in front of my house. The GPS thing is way over there on the other side of this mat that's covering the windshield and still loading, looking for GPS. So if we go to settings, These are all the settings. And as you see, you can do split screen. You can watch little movies on it, but you can't move the movie up here. It has to stay down here. The radio is terrible. You try to do the radio, it's staticky. And as you hear, sitting in front of my house, it's outside. It's hooked up to the RAM radio, the RAM antenna, and it just don't work. You can hear it staticky. The other thing is, it can't push the stock speakers very well. If you go past 25, it starts uh, distorting. And if I go, where is it? Here, you got the 16 bands. All the bass part is up there and all the highs up here. When you start putting it up too high, it starts crackling the speakers, which I don't understand why. Even when it's low, it starts crack crackling. The RPMs, I got the RPMs to work. Let's see if I get a regular. Also, as you see, it's got the Wi-Fi. It's hooked up in front of my house. So that's working. But you can download apps and stuff like that. Yeah, that works. But unless you have a bare bones... um. A bare bones ram this is not a good radio for you this is actually going to go in the trash because i can't use it i can't sell it back on ebay and you try to reset it try to do everything the backup camera let me start it up so you can see what the backup camera is let me put the parking brake on And that's what the backup camera looks like. But you have to buy a harness. It's not going to hook up directly. It just doesn't work. And the backup lines on my regular radio, my 7-inch screen, it'll turn back and forth. This one stays stationary. So let me see if I go back to... Go back to ACC. Oh, damn it. 
Come on. Also, let me show you the movie thing on it. I just downloaded a little skit. Fast 7. Well, as you see, it stays on the bottom of the screen. So you can't move it. I've tried everything. Yes, you are. Should somebody just walk me through what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> So yeah, that part works, but then when you go to Bluetooth, let me see if you can find that, and as you see, you can get the heater to work, but it's telling me it's 174 degrees. It's not even running, and it says on. So it doesn't know if it's on or off for what it's doing, but it does work. When you do turn it on, it'll skip uh, only four speeds. You can't get all these speeds. It won't work. By the time you get to three, it just shuts off. Which I can show you that in a little bit. Other than that, hooking it up is real easy. It's real quick. You could try... Uh, when you go to user settings, you know, it has all these options and everything else. And then the uh, TPS center sensor don't work. So it doesn't tell you where... Um, how much air you got in your tires. That won't hurt. You got to buy a special harness for that. The parking sound don't work, even though it says it's on. But as you see, parking center, the line, track lines. Uh, I don't know if that's talking about it or what, because I turn it off and on. The yellow lines are still there. So I don't know which one it's saying. And then if I go to wheel settings, I tried everything. I've tried high. I've tried low. I go into more settings. Nothing seems to control the stand wheel. So I can't do volume, I can't do anything. And uh, you can go to programs and everything. So if you go to install settings, 8861 is for this one, for the 5th gen. Uh, as you see, it's on car type, RAM high. Uh, that's for the reverse camera. And when you get this radio, you have to do certain stuff. Like tell it what stand well it's on, what side it's on. If it's on the left or the right. But here's everything here, and there's original steering wheel control. So if you do learn, it doesn't work. You do protocol, it doesn't work. And these are all the settings that's in the background. And the pop-up fading and entertainment and all of that. And then for some reason, even though it's on RAM, see Dodge RAM High, for some reason, it says 4 TPM, TPMS sensor. I don't understand why. I've tried updating it. I did everything I was supposed to do. Still doesn't work. So all in all, it's just not what you're looking for if you have um, options in this truck. Like this is the uh, the Big Horn, 2019. But with my eight point screen, you know, backup camera works, sensors work, all that stuff works. Everything talks to the radio. This doesn't talk to anything. Um. I've, I've it spent months playing with this thing, and you're talking about since October, and of course, since I won't pay the taxes on eBay, I can't send it back, so I just had to keep it, but the guy did give me uh, the money off of it, so really, I only paid 300 bucks for it, but I even tried to give it to somebody who has a, less, uh, uh, a Ram Tradesman, and it wouldn't work in there. And he doesn't have as much apps as mine. Like, I got the heated seats, heated stand well, all of that. And it does the heated seats. It will not do the heated stand well. So, all in all, if you have a bare bones, this will work perfectly. If you don't, then here's the GPS. The GPS is telling me it's picking up, so it shouldn't be loading. And there's all the satellites, if that's correct. That's above us right now. Or above me. And there's the speed. And no matter how much you change this, it comes right back. When you change it to American, it doesn't work. Uh, Kilo miles, speed, stuff like that. It just won't do it. So I press home. 
Let me see if I get the RPMs to kick on. Come on. Oh, now you're not going to work. So for some reason, those ain't working anymore. And this is what it does. Like some options you put on and they disappear. User settings, navigation, everything's on, as you see. Display meter. Let's see. Oh, here we go. So this is display meters. So you got to save and reboot. But then the crazy part is, watch what it does when I turn it off. There we go. That takes forever to do. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. And this is what you got to go through every time you find an option you need. You got to sit there, save and reset it. Welcome back. So now, I don't know what it's doing. Here, see, loading GPS. That's what it does every time. And it would even do this for you driving. But you have your options up here and everything else. I got some of these to work, but some of these make no sense. And you have to change. So I thought the settings were here and you have to change all this stuff. This is just uh, basically telling you who put it in there. So Colombia, Chile, Argentina, you know, stuff like that. And the junctions. So Arizona, Arkansas, Argentina, California, Canada, Colorado. So it just gives you the websites of who put this stuff in there. And as you see, it was a 2019 RAM, but everything's 2017, 2016. So this is old PX6 from 2018 and down that it works good on. But then watch my RPMs. As you see, it's running normal, right? When I shut it off and I go back to ACC... Oh, that's how that's how high my RPMs are running, which it's on eight, but it's telling me sixty five thousand. Like really? So the speed, and I've changed that to MPH plenty of times, but it just goes right back to that kilomiles. So, all in all, this radio is not worth the thousand bucks that they want. Especially when you have to buy every single harness. Uh, if you see Phoenix Radio, uh, go to their website. They have a radio up there that says that it does everything. It still hasn't came out yet. And it hasn't came out because it doesn't work. And I've tried to update it plenty of times. Again, look, 174 degrees, it's saying. There's no way to fix that. I've tried resetting it. By pushing that little reset button, I've tried everything on this thing, and it just don't work. Uh, you can't, if you wanted to do Android Play, you have to buy a special harness for it. Uh, for the TPS sensors, you have to take all your tires off, put their P TPS sensors, and buy their box. The radio is always staticky. No matter where you go, I could be on the highway, anywhere else, just staticky. And then, here, let's go to music. And for some reason, it goes to this all the time. I don't know what this is. This came with the radio. And there's no way to stop it from doing that. I try to delete it. I tried to find it in the background. I can't find it. See? There's nothing you can do for it. It just comes right back. And that's my Bluetooth for my radio. And this is how it looks on the Bluetooth. And even I, I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds muffled. And no matter how much you try 
to put the highs up and everything else, it just doesn't sound good. It's hard for you to tell in here because, of course, the phone's not going to pick it all up. But it's very muffled. So if you did have this, you would have to hook up an amp to it. And that's the there's two Bluetooths. I don't know what are these for. Oh, and then the phone, the phone calls, you you can't program any of the uh, phone numbers. So look, you can't even go back to Bluetooth. Hello. Look, it won't do nothing. So let's see if I can find it this way. Yeah, that's what you have to do. But then when you do that, it goes back to this recording of Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. So, come on. No, it won't do nothing. Welcome back. And that's the sounds and presets, sound fills, strong bass. So this is for your subwoofer if you have a subwoofer hooked up, which I have it, have it hooked up a different way. Because, of course, I was using a stock radio at the time. So you should be able to control your bass, but it's, it's just a terrible radio. But I've been through settings. I've been through everything. And here's my video of the PX6 Phoenix radio. Do not recommend getting this. Especially not for the price. But if you have a bare bones and you have to use your parts to make this work. So this bezel is actually from my OEM radio. Uh, uh, front bezel. I You have to use yours. Your grill pieces, you have to use yours. It doesn't come with it. This is original from my truck. So this doesn't come with the radio either. All you get is this part. And as you see, I still got the sticker on it. So it was new at one time. And you have to have your clips. So you would have to take your clips off the bezel. Come on. And then I'm just using these two screws to hold it in. Because as you see, it just pops right out. But it doesn't, it doesn't go all the way. As you see, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a big gap right here. So all in all, if you have the bare bones, yeah, there we go, 174 degrees. Yeah, the truck's on ACC, so it won't come on. But yeah, I've tried to get that to work, just won't talk to it. I got the heated seat to work, but it only works on one setting. But as you see, that's not even my truck. That's a classic. And let me see if I can get back to that screen. More settings. I don't think it's in there. No. Come on. Uh, settings. Uh, user settings. No, install settings. Install settings. 8861. So if I go here, this screen. So there's the Dodge, Dodge High. I've tried all of these. All these do, this does is if you're looking on the top of the uh, RAM, the side of the RAM, stuff like that. But this is how they want you to have it according to the settings that I looked on uh, the forums and stuff like that. But today I am ripping this out. It's just not good. Like the USBs, you try to hook your phone up and it just makes it black out. Like it, it, it bugs out. And... On the apps, I downloaded the Z-Link. Doesn't work. Uh, there's your map. When you use Google Maps, you can't do Google Maps because you have to leave your phone on hotspot all the time in order for that to work. And then also the other one won't come on. Just that one on top, the, the original one on top, and then Google Maps on the bottom. And you can't vice versa. Easy Connect don't work because as soon as you try to do it, it's in... China somewhere or Beijing, I think it is, but yeah. So, this is pretty much what I think about this radio. Just a POS. There's the movie I downloaded, and I tried to download a different truck. As you see, I downloaded it, 
but you can't put that to the display. It just goes into a folder. So unfortunately, I can't sell it, can't give it away, so it's just going to go in the trash. All right, well, here's my video, and hope this was inf informative.